What's up everybody? Big Ox Triple Six here, the Golf Gamer. So check it out. This is a rumor. Okay? Rumor might not come true, but the Wall Street Journal has reported on this um, rumor before. And they're a big time freaking news article company, I think. But anyways, they said a more powerful switch is coming at the end of this year. Now they have more reports of a, a cheaper model come at the end of this year. Might be around E3, which is pretty much around June, which is my vacation time, which I, I like to relax and stuff and do my thing. But yes, they might have two models coming at the end of the end of this year, which would be pretty cool. But I'll put my two cents in after the article. Expanding on a rumor which they first published last year, the Wall Street Journal re now reports that Nintendo is planning to release two new models of the Switch and both may be, be out in 2019. The first, they say, it will have enhanced figures, figure, figure, features, wow, <laughs> can't talk right now, targeted to avid video gamers, though it won't be as powerful as Sony's PS4 Pro or Microsoft Xbox One X. And the second model is a cheaper option for the casual gamers that Nintendo sees as a successor to its handheld 3DS device. Um, the Wall Street Journal um, cites both parts, suppliers and software developers in their report. It is claimed that the cheaper model will cut costs by removing features with, vi with the vibration. Now, the Joy-Cons right here has an HD, HD rumble, which to be honest, I barely feel feel it. Just just saying, it's not that powerful. Just just letting you guys know. Um, and they say both new versions are expected to be announced at E3, and possible possibly poss there's a possibility that it might be released a few months later, in time for both Christmas and the release of Pokemon. Sword and Pokemon Shield and Animal Crossing, which I'm gonna I'm talk about those those three. Well, those two. Well, basically Pokemon in a minute. <laughs> the possibility of two new models is an interesting one. I think most people people at the report would have guessed that a newer Switch would be either cheaper replacement for the 3TS or a souped up console for fanboys. Um, but getting both would be wild. Okay. Now, this will be good for me because I have a few issues with the Nintendo Switch. One, the battery life is not that good, okay? I know it's cool playing Breath of the Wild, Super Smash Bros. I've been playing Super Smash Bros. on this like constantly. You know, even my friend's place, I play it here too. And, you know, the battery life is not that good. I say three hours, just just playing the game. I want at least about five to six hours. Just just saying, cause you know I like to play in long sessions. I'm, I'm a gamer like that. That's that's what I do. And also, the screen on here is kind of small. It's like pretty much there's a whole like little bar on top of the screen. It's it's annoying as hell. It, it really is. And I was gonna do my one year, you know. Um, review of my switch but everybody make those type of reviews and my my one year is pretty much like next month in april and stuff but i was like you know what screw it. i'm talking about it here it battery life sucks the joy con sucks just saying you know you get metal pieces for this thing right here metal 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 um snap ons because if you drop this thing one time that plastic piece that snaps on with the joy con it gets loose Okay, so get metal pieces works just wonders. Wonders, and also the little kickstand sucks too. If you shake it a little bit, it, it falls out. Just, just, just let you guys know. It, it, it's, it has a few flaws, but it's still okay system. It's my second, second um, console I play. I play my PS4. And I play my, play my, um, my Nintendo Switch, then my Xbox One, then my PS3. But other than that. It has a few ups and downs. The Pro Controller feels nice, even though it shouldn't be that much money, but you know, whatever, that's Nintendo and stuff. And Nintendo Online sucks, period. I I tried the seven day trial. I, I'm not gonna subscribe to that. They have better stuff, just saying. But um, Nintendo, sorry, Pokemon. Okay, I might buy Pokemon 
Sword and Shield because I haven't played a Pokemon game since a little bit of Pokemon Crystal, and that was like, man, I barely I was out of high school when that when that game came out, and you know, that's the last Pokemon I, I I played. Now, I don't have an issue with Nintendo announcing a game called Pokemon um, Sun and Moon. Okay, they announced that one, then they made an ultimate version of it with uh, Pokemon Ultra Sun and Moon, which my best friend's pissed off, and I'm glad I, I freaking just waited because, <laughs> you know, I was going to buy buy the Pokemon um, Sun and Moon as well. But, you know, I just have a feeling that they might do another, another version of Pokemon, like, Ultra, like, Sword and Shield. That's what I'm worried about. You know, because I don't want to be paying 60 bucks for Pokemon and kind of find out they make an ultimate version of it. You know, that's the only issue I have with it. Animal Crossing, that can wait. You know, I'll wait for, get, get that game for $20 eventually. But yeah, I hope it's, it's a more powerful Switch. I hope it's, you know, battery life, more powerful, um, bigger memory card, and, you know, more third party games on there because. Playing Doom on here, awesome. Playing Skyrim on here, awesome. Playing third-party games like Resident Evil 7, they haven't got it on here yet, but they probably will eventually. They're going to have Mortal Kombat 11 on this Nintendo Switch, just on the go. The last Mortal Kombat game was on a Vita, and now I think it was like Mortal Kombat 9. And, you know, that was pretty cool to just to play on the go. And Nintendo, and that's probably Kelly. Yeah, that's Kelly. But um, yeah, Nintendo should have more stuff like that too because it's great. It's a great port, port, portable um, system. That's why I mostly do on you know on the go. I hardly play it on my on my um, TV. I think I played it like yesterday on my TV for the first like I, maybe like yeah for the first time. Yeah, that's that's freaking weird. But eighty percent of the time, I'm I'm always having portable. At, or at my friend's place because you know it's it's fun playing games like that. But anyways, I'm rant, I'm going on 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 on. But yes, I just want to know the price on it. Say about three fifty. Um, the smaller ones, the smaller version, I say about two hundred. If if that maybe maybe two fifty. Well, I don't I don't know because if they have the smaller the, the cheaper version, they should have it around two hundred dollars because this Nintendo Switch is three hundred dollars so they should be like two fifty and the PS the PS4 wow the Nintendo Switch Pro I say about three fifty or I don't know I don't know I'm just I'm just making numbers up you know but anyways let me know in the comment section below what do you guys think about this a more powerful Nintendo Switch Pro or cheaper Nintendo Switch Pro but who knows but anyways this big Triple six I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys. Stay awesome.